Hi, it's Coach Murphy here. I hope you're crushing coronation and finding a nice balance between the work you have to get done and your free time and also some time to really bring sanity into your day. Uh, it's super suffocating to be stuck in one place. And so I'm hoping that you're finding some reprieve, whether it's a good book or a Netflix series or a board game or two or cards with your parents and uh, and siblings. But as you focus on this new week and getting work done and balancing everything, some of you are obviously continue to crush an academic plan or just to track the work you want to do for that week. It still works. So if you felt like you've lost track with it, get back on it and use this to really manage your week and really feel like you're getting stuff done. And obviously that feels pretty damn good. Another suggestion is to use a Google Sheets template that allows you to schedule your week really seamlessly. There's also another template that's a um, way to manage your to-do list. And then the third template that I'll share out has to do with managing assignments. I would say pick one or two. I'm gonna walk you through each one and you can decide which one's gonna connect with you best. These are a few options. You have an assignment tracker which allows you to toggle between different classes, as you can see here, and put down the assignments, as well as give yourself a timestamp, which involves the amount of time it may take you to get an assignment done, so you can really track out your time throughout each day or throughout the week, as well as the time you want to start it and the due date. This is really, really effective for those that really have a lot to do or they really struggle with getting anything done. So by spending time digging into the assignments, you're initiating that future picture within yourself and initiating momentum towards getting those assignments started. And we all know, as soon as I start something, there's a strong likelihood that I'll get it finished. The other one is, is, an, is an assignment. It's called a to-do or a to-do list. And this is really effective as well because it allows you just simply create a list of your assignments. And as you can see here, you can actually track them just with a, this checkbox is awesome. It crosses the assignments off as you do it. And you can just kind of keep a running list of the assignments you have going on. This is really basic, but also really effective. And what you can do as well is you can share this with certain teachers in the school or a coach or a tutor that you're working with to try to collaborate on the work that you're trying to do, okay? And the other one is the schedule. And the schedule is just as helpful when I start to look at my whole week. So today, you know, the start of a week, you can sit down and say, what do I want my week to look like? What am I trying to juggle? I don't just have school going on. I have other things that I'm trying to do. I'm trying to stay in shape for my sports. Even though the season's been postponed, I still want to stay focused on building certain academic or athletic skills. And obviously there's the school time, which starts when I wake up, maybe I grab some breakfast, and then I crush my academics in a time period that allows me to see front load the hard work, and then in the afternoon I can chill out and enjoy. Maybe I'm a college, maybe I'm a high schooler that still has to work on college application stuff. So I'll put that into my schedule as well. And this has a similar features regarding sharing it and um, and uh, this allows you to update it from week to week as well, where I move from week to week. Or I can toggle down here, which gives me a spot to add some notes. And I can even use this to manage my homework if I want to put down the assignments that I want to get done. Uh, it's not quite as effective as some of the other tools in terms of task management, but gives you a spot to work with anyways. I hope this helps. All the best to you during coronation, and be safe and be well.